Hi guys, Miss Robbie again. Uh, this week's PE, so linking to last week's tennis, we're going to take those individual tennis skills and start to practice them whilst we are on the move. So again, you will need a tennis racket and a ball or something different. So again, I've got my frying pan and a pair of socks. Again, you can use a hardback book if you'd like to. I haven't got one today because Darcy's asleep at the minute, so I can't use that. Our first challenge, we're going to take the frying pan and the ball and it's going to use our balancing but instead of standing still we're going to be on the move you need a partner or someone to help you with this so if they say north south east or west that means you're going to move forwards backwards left or right okay so i've got my wife to help me so i'm going to stand in the middle and she's going to call out some instructions no so i'll go forwards East. So I'll go this way. South. Or go backwards. West. And I'll go this way. North. And we'll stop there for the practice. Thank you very much for a minute. See how long you can do that for without the ball or the socks falling off the racket. Second test is the same game again. I'm going to use the racket for this one. We're going to try and keep the ball bouncing. And you stop once the ball falls on the floor and you time yourself that way again. Okay, so we'll start again. Are you ready? No. So forwards. Back. Or we'll go backwards. East. Go this way. West. Back. Go backwards again. This way and we'll stop. Okay, I've just realised I've got my east and west mixed up, but don't worry about that, it's not a problem. It's PE, not geography. Do that until the ball falls on the floor, time yourselves and put it on there. Make sure you're always facing the front as you do it. So it's about facing your partner who is calling your instructions out. Task three in your racket and your ball for this. For this one, you need to have a hard surface, so somewhere like a, um, a patio or your driveway or the path into your house, as long as things are safe. Do not be playing this in the road, that's not safe. You're going to hit the ball on the racket, it's going to bounce, and you're going to catch it. You're going to see how many times you can do that without dropping the ball. If you can do this anywhere between two and three minutes, it's fantastic. You can do it anywhere between 10 and 15 seconds, amazing. Do as much as you can until you lose control of the ball. Okay, next one, same again, but instead of using your hand, you're gonna use the racket this time. So you're gonna hit it up, you're gonna bounce, and you hit it up again. So it's about keeping control of the ball, and it bounce on the floor, and bounces up. Keep your eye on the ball all the time. Again, until you lose control of it, you over your head, or anything else lose control of it. Well done. There's your four challenges this week. I'll put your worksheet in your files section on your team's channel. Good luck.